What vehicle did you pick? I picked the mini Tesla quad. Woo! <laughs> Up next, we got Andrew, and what crazy thing are you sitting on? All right, so this is my favorite thing in the world, a jet ski, but this one goes on land. What? It's got a wheel under it. That is crazy. And last but not least, we have the red mini Jeep. This thing is really sick, and we're gonna continue to put it to the test. And uh, the challenge starts as soon as I hop in. You guys off the ground, no feet touching. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be tough. I never rode this thing before. <laughs> Good luck with that one. And the challenge officially begins. Let's go! Woo! Hey, Bailey, wait up! No! Okay, Bailey is off. Look at this thing, guys. It looks like it's just a jet ski sitting on dry land. Literally doesn't make any sense. Carter, let's teach Andrew. I got an idea. What? Follow me. All right, but I got to see if Andrew can even move. Here we go. Oh, boy. Go, Andrew, go! He's actually driving the jet ski on land. No way. That thing looks so sick. Check this out. I got to start this up. Shifting the first to the gas. We're going to follow Andrew. Andrew, wait up. Oh, let's go. I think you got the hang of it, Andrew. Yes. It's even got the jet out the back. Yo, Carter and Andrew left me way behind. Man, this is kind of boring. Who wants to ride a Tesla Cybercar by themselves? Well, as long as I don't get off, I guess I'll be in the challenge still. Oh, look, the boys are here. I got up. This thing is great. Guys, there's alien spaceship up in the air. Look at that. What do you guys think that even is? They are so loud and there's at least two of them. That is some sketchy stuff. Wow. This challenge is for $10,000. So we're going to step it up a notch and we're going to make it a little crazy. Each of us are going to pick our own challenge and we're going to start with me. Challenge number one is the off-road challenge. We're going to start on the Pacific Northwest Trailhead and make it all the way through the mud, the different obstacles, the bumps, and the jumps. And if you make it through, it counts as a point. If you don't, you get no points. Who's up first? We're all sending this together. At the same time? Oh yeah. We're gonna see how this goes. This is a regular brand new Jeep, and over here is the world's smallest gas-powered Jeep, and this thing is tiny. It's got two seats, it's two-wheel drive with lock diffs on the back, it's got a three-speed transmission and shifter, a gasoline engine, electric start, even has working headlights and turn signals, making this thing basically like a real Jeep, just super small. Believe it or not, this thing actually gets 100 miles to gallon in a one-gallon gas tank, so give or take, I should be able to make it if I'm good on gas mileage, all the way 100 miles to the beach, which is gonna be amazing. And I got this thing on Amazon Prime. Let's get started with this road trip and let me show you how cool this mini Jeep is. Check it out, electric start, when it starts right up. Woo! And to prove this thing is actually a Jeep, let me show you what it can do off-road. That little Jeep is gonna do what normal Jeeps can do. It has to be able to pass all these tests. Test number one, we're gonna see if it can go in the water. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's see if Carter can keep up. Oh boy, this is scary. And look, look, here's the water. Oh my gosh, we are in it. Well, I don't know, Andrew. I don't even know if your Jeep's gonna be able to do it. <laughs> We're tilting a little bit. This is scary. Andrew's trying to show me that this is a test that Jeeps can do. I don't even think his full-size Jeep can do it. This is a brand new Jeep, and I do not want to roll it over into the water. Oh, you're starting to sink. Oh my gosh. Oh, your tires are slipping. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if it's gonna, oh, you're sinking. Get out of there. I might need some help. Uh-oh. We're tilted pretty far. Oh my gosh, guys. Jeep test number one is off to a uh, little bit of a scary start. <laughs> we gotta save passengers out of the Jeep because look, guys, we're about to sink it in the lake. This is brand new. Andrew, you can't lose it. I can't roll it now. This thing is brand new. And he just got it detailed like 45 minutes ago. Here we go, rescue squad. We got a big Ford truck to rescue the little Jeep. Wow, I really dug out the mud here. My feet are sinking deep. Matt, we need a rescue. The Jeep got stuck. I see that. Driving underwater is almost Almost impossible, but Prodigy TV and I actually did it. Going down. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! And I want to be the first person ever to do it with a mini Jeep. These are mini Jeeps, and they're super awesome because they're gas powered. They have a real transmission, and they're electric start. They go super fast. They have headlights and turn signals, and they're street legal. Almost. Oh my god! 
They're incredible off-road and can go through the craziest trails in mud. They even ford through deep water better than a real Jeep. Back in the 1920s, the US military developed the technology to drive a Jeep fully submerged underwater. They never ended up practically using this technology and no one's ever driven underwater until we did this video with a Hummer. Prodigy TV modified their Hummer with tracks to drive fully under and we drove it across the Team Roar Lake with scuba masks. It was insane. But nobody's ever done it with a mini Jeep and that's what we're gonna do today and we're gonna try to drive it in the swimming pool. Phase one of the build to make this drive underwater is we are gonna be installing treads. If you guys remember from the Hummer video with Prodigy TV, they had a Hummer with four treads because it was four wheel drive and that allows you to get more traction underwater, especially in the lake. Let's did tires in the lake with Andrew's Jeep and let's just say it didn't work. Oh boy, this is scary. Oh, you're sinking. I might need some help. Helping with the build, we got Matt and Andrew. So it's time for phase one. Let's get the treads on it and see how well it drives with tank treads. It's so cool. Just like a real car or a real Jeep, we're actually using one of the car lifts to lift a tiny little go-kart. Oh man, look at this. That is a nice look. So we can see how this works. It's just a solid axle chain drive, just like a dirt bike or ATV. And we're gonna make these treads somehow. It's gonna be really interesting to see how it works. Think we're about to do it, Matt? Oh yeah. Time to get started. Team Red, are you ready? Yeah, let's go! Team Blue, are you ready? Yeah! Let's get started in three, two, one. Hot Wheels! All right, we got three hours to pull off this entire build. The thing is, I don't know anything about cars, which is why I'm really lucky that I have Matt on my team. What do we do? Uh, Matt, what do we do? Matt, we're running out of time. Let's into the fastest race car that we can. Okay, fastest race car that we can. I will say, so far, it already looks pretty fast, right? These tiny cars are amazing. We've used them tons of times in the past in other videos. They go super fast and they can go off-road. And my favorite part yeah. is they have a real yeah, gas meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yes! Come on, baby! Start it up and rev it. First thing he's saying is raise this up. Pull the thunder. Yep. That's, that is? Jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, he's like a professional mechanic. I've never worked on a car in my life. And I'm super lucky to have him on my team. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm just trying to mimic what he's doing, but I don't really know what he's doing. I'm going to pop the trunk. This is called the trunk, right? Well, that's nice. I thought you just hit a button and it raises in the air. <laughs> I feel useless right now. Okay, here we go. It's going up. This is great. So Team Red has got a head start. They're putting theirs on the car lift, which is hilarious because these tiny cars are so small, but these car lifts can actually lift giant full-size cars as well. So okay. what we need is big wheels. Big wheels? Cars already up on the lift. We're ahead of them. They're struggling over there, but uh, we have a lot to do, not a lot of time, and we need to get the parts. We have to earn them. So we're gonna go back this way real fast. Not yet. That is crazy, it's right above my head. Put that under here. Every car customization starts with a car lift. Yes, it is lifting. This way we're gonna be able to access all the tires super easily, all the undercarriage, and look at all the suspension under here. This car is so cool. We're good to go. Time to start modifying. Look how fast he is. Oh yeah. yeah. Very nice. Yo, you want to play some basketball with that? Oh, okay. All right, work it. There you go. I didn't even know you could do some tires. Mm-hmm. Well, you dropped one. Where'd I thought go? you were supposed to. Yeah, I'll leave that. We have all the wheels off, but that means we need to go and get new wheels. I got to come over here to the challenge table. Everything we could ever want is on this table. We have new wheels, we have modifications, we have decorations, but you can't just have them. You have to earn them, which means I need to pull a challenge card for my team. Blindfolded basketball shot. This means that I got to come over here and make a blindfolded basketball shot. When I do, I can go back to the modification table, take whatever I want and give it to Matt so Matt can get back to work because this is the only way that I'm useful for my team. All right, so I'm blindfolded. You can't see. Have a ball, please. Thank you. Oh, I thought you had it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Swish. That was perfect. No, I did. That was perfect. You should really? Yeah. Let's go! Okay. Four tries. I'll take it. Okay. We're saving a ton of time. These challenges can hold you up because you can't move away until you actually complete them. Um, what do we want first? Wheels? Yeah. Challenge succeeded. Big, heavy wheels. Old wheels, new wheels. Red versus blue. We got 
two custom built mini Jeeps that we built here in the last video and we're gonna be putting them to the test to see what is better. The blue one with the dualies on the front and the treads on the back or the red donked out mini Jeep with the big golf cart chrome rims, the underglow and a custom wing on the back. Let's find out in this episode of Last to Stop Riding. Woo! Joining me Woo! in today's challenge, we got the one and only Bailey Payne. So, Yo. This is the first time you've seen either of these, so you get to pick. Do you want blue or do you want red? Well, I will say, when I watched the YouTube video, I was highly impressed, and I honestly have to go with the blue one. It's just ah! so cool looking. That's the one that I built. This one is the most unique by far because Ooh. it's got four wheels on the front, so it's super wide like a crab, and on the back, we have the treads. So we're gonna be putting these to the test. Race, hill climb, off-road challenges, just seeing which one is better. Bailey's team blue, which means I'm team red, and I'm gonna be hopping on the one and only Fast boy. Here we go, the challenge is officially starting. Team blue versus team red. Woo! Racers, start your engines. Oh, let's see if this thing even works. These things are gas powered with a shifter. We got three gears. These are legit, real mini Jeeps. Oh, oh it works. Y'all hear how smooth that sounds? Ooh! I wonder how fast this can actually go, because look, the tires, are big. Oh, and you might have noticed this one over there. This one we're working on still to drive underwater and it's gonna go that deep, eight feet underwater. That's coming soon. Keep an eye out for that one. But for right now, let's drive it into gear. Bye, Bailey's Carter. rolling with the treads. See ya. Woo! This is so sick. Oh, oh, oh yo! You're That's turning hard. too sharp. Straighten oh, out, straighten no. out. I, I'm trying to straighten out. Uh, guys, I built that one and I uh, didn't do a great job putting those front wheels on. Yo, push oh, no. the tire straight a little bit. Kick w it. With my foot? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I don't think you can turn very sharp. That's why I asked about the turn radius. Uh-oh. Well, we don't know. They're custom built. See, Carter set me up for failure, y'all. That's why he told me to go first. The show must go on. Let's keep going. All right, let's go. Okay, big wide turn. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Mine feels really fast. That's all I'm saying is these chrome rims are rolling and they feel so fast. Whoa. Oh yeah, baby! Oh. Yo, that thing drives like a tank. We're gonna set up for our very first challenge, which is gonna be a race. We gotta see which one's faster. Yeah, and honestly, the race is gonna be pretty hard because these treads don't look like it's helping me much. Maybe for a future challenge, it'll help you. This ATV was only $800 and I ordered it on Amazon. It showed up in a box and we put it together. It was quite easy and we're gonna be testing to see how awesome it is. Yo, can I grab this one? Ryan, that's not an ATV, that's a Lamborghini. What are you talking about? It has four wheels, it should count. This ATV is $10,000. It's a lot bigger, a lot more expensive, and we're gonna be putting them to the test. Ryan, you get to pick. Do you want the cheap one or the expensive one? Obviously the expensive one. Okay, that means I'm going cheap. We're gonna be putting them on a series of tests, but first up, let's get them started and drive out of the house. Cheap ATV power up, we got the key. The green light is on, kill switch, and electric start. Okay, I'm gonna shift it into gear, and here we go. Driving out of the house in the tiny, cheap ATV. Let's go! All right, Carter's gone. He's on his $800 ATV, but this thing right here, this is over $10,000 of heavy machinery. First things first, turn the key. Is that it? All right, put it into gear. All right, here we go. I'm a little nervous. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh! It's so fast! Oh! Oh, I was not prepared for how quick this thing is. Oh, my ATV is way better than your ATV. I don't know, I mean, it's got it's more expensive, but we're gonna find out which one is actually better. $800 from Amazon or $10,000 from the ATV dealer. Let's go, Ryan. Woo! Oh, oh, we got Ryan behind me. We're going up the Team Roar Woo! Lake Edge right now. Oh, he's kicking up dust. I gotta oh. outrun him. Oh, I'm going blind. Yeah. Yo, Ryan, my ATV is so fast. Mine's way faster, what are you talking about? No way, let's put it to a race. All right, let's go. Let's see which one is faster. Whoa! Yeah, baby! Whoa! Yeah! Yo, Ryan, I think my ATV is faster. Oh, do you? Yeah, I'm going so fast. Oh! Not a chance, Barbara. Guys, of course I picked the off-road because I am in an off-roader. This thing is like four-wheel drive, front and rear suspension, and I can literally shift, so I think I'm definitely gonna pass my own challenge. I don't know if this is gonna work out. The question is, will Andrew be able to off-road a jet ski? Oh, he already fell. 
Okay. Oh! It's stalled! Andrew, you're struggling on the road. We haven't even made it to the trailhead yet. <laughs> Here we go. He finally got it! To the trailhead! Woo! Oh my gosh, Andrew actually made it over here. Oh, Carter's gone. All right, I gotta go. Oh, that trail? Carter, there's no way I'm making it down there. Help me out. Give me zero points. Just wait till my challenge. This jet ski is really gonna shine when it's my turn. All right, Carter, I guess we're gonna end this trail. Whoa! Oh, easy! Oh my God. Whoa! So Andrew is tapping out. The jet ski is not making it through the roots and bumps. So uh, we're gonna see how this thing can do. This is gonna be so hard. I already know. I hope I don't get stuck. You're looking good back there, man. Ah! Oh! 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 My butt! My butt! This hurts. Can we turn around? No, we gotta go. The hardest obstacles up ahead. Oh no! Here we oh. go. You swerved it! What? That's not fair. Yeah, it is. You follow me. Alright. Bailey's trying to be smart. This quad is smaller, so he's able to swerve it a little easier. Mine's a little bit bigger, so I couldn't do that. Oh, big mud pit. Yes! Oh, you beat it! Here we go. Big mud pit for me. Easy. He made it. Alright, let's keep going. Last couple obstacles. Last couple turns. Here we go. We almost made it to the field. Mini Jeep's gonna be able to do this just fine. I can't wait to show you guys. Andrew, I think you should trade it in for a Mini. I can't believe this. It's like a $70,000 electric Jeep. It's really cool. Couldn't even do a little bit of squishy mud. We got the Ford truck with the strap trying to get Andrew out. Let's get a little tension on it first. Make sure that hook is hooked. Oh my gosh. You have no idea, dude. My heart has been stopped this entire time. I mean, it's a brand new car. I would be freaking out too if it just rolled over into the water. Wow, it was all the way up to the black trim. Just about to go inside your doors. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show a real Jeep how it's done because this little Jeep can go anywhere. Let's go! There's no way that little Jeep is gonna be able to do even close to what this thing did. He's definitely going swimming. Guys, comment down below if you think the little Jeep can go nowhere a real Jeep can. Here we go, into the water. I don't wanna go too deep. This is where Andrew got stuck. Yeah! No way! Whoa. Oh! 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 Come on, little Jeep! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Thing's only two wheel drive. I can't believe that. My backpack full of water. No, not the team rock But we still made it. Yes! Success! Little Jeeps are clearly better than big Jeeps. Woo! On to test number two. Test two is the hill climb with a twist. Andrew with the normal size Jeep, you're up first. I'm a little nervous after that last test, but let's give it a shot. All right, Jeep Rubicon, let's go. Oh boy. Woo. Oh, that's a steep angle already. This is really the steep. The water is pouring out. Wait, there's water in it? Uh, a little bit of water. Okay, this is the hard part because it's got a hill climb with a bump. Oh, oh. did you hit your frame? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, and I think that is a successful pass, but he did uh, drip some water and hit his frame. So let's see if I can do any better. We actually made that pretty easy. That was surprising. Actually, I guess not. That's what Jeeps are supposed to be. That's the old axle. Putting the axle back on because the other one's just not gonna work at all, so we gotta do some custom fab. We ran into our first problem early on, so the axle that came with the treads that should have just bolted up real easy, none of it's compatible at all. The chain and sprocket are not compatible. This isn't compatible. There's custom welding, the disaster. So we have another way that just might work. The most ingenious thing this part of the axle is too <laughs> thick, so we gotta lathe it down. We don't have a lathe, but we do have a mini Jeep, so we're just gonna drive it, spin the axle, and grind it down, reducing the diameter of that. I think it's gonna work. Let's try it. None of this, I think, not done. Third gear, and I'm gonna give it gas and spin the axle. Gas powered lathe. about so we grinded this and if that is small enough diameter the tracks will slide right on and we're almost done moment of truth oh oh oh, oh it worked first 
try! One of the craziest, sketchiest, hilarious setups we've ever done here in the garage, and it actually worked really well. Great. Didn't realize mini jeeps are also mini lanes. So we got one more to do. Here we go guys, we are out on the pavement, it does great. We're gonna go to gravel, oh there's water. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. We are just gonna trek right on through. All right, a little water. Yes! It's so slow. So Andrew, what's our game plan? What should we do with this thing? I wanna make this thing the ultimate off-roader. I think we should load up on off-roading parts and make it just be able to go anywhere. Sounds good, let's go get some parts. All right, we gotta go run to the challenge table. Yeah, I think we're gonna go off-road. What better way than to get these off-road treads? That is so cool. So these wheels don't just fit. They're for something else, so we have to put this adapter on. Here goes nothing, and the first challenge is Bring me all the apples. What? Yes. How many apples? <laughs> no, this is, what is that? Who are we bringing the apples to? <laughs> okay, we each gotta get one apple, I'll go first. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, open oh, my car. Oh, hard. Get in there. Here, let me go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if this is possible. Wait, but this is the first challenge? This is ridiculous. I thought this was a car build off. Oh, I got one! He got it. Oh. Uh, you go, quick! Right. Go, Andrew, go! Put him up the stem. Use the stem? <laughs> yeah. You're outsmarted. I guess it counts. Let's go. Let's get our stuff. We got it now. Let's oh. go. Mm. That's a good apple. Oh! Are you serious? Okay, these fit right on. What a mod. Look how cool this is. This thing is starting to look like a crazy off-roader already, and I got a little snack out of it. What is you guys? What? Where did you get wheels this nice? Oh yeah. I mean that looks cool and all, but it's not gonna go off road very well. Now that we got the tank treads on the back, we wanna make sure that they actually work. They went on so easy. We're gonna see if they roll and if it actually works. And touchdown. Oh look how cool this looks. We wasted about an hour just on the tires, but next challenge, move the next modification that we can get. I'm really nervous about this one. You're doing this one. Yeah. It's even worse. I got 10 bottle flips. Let's see if these puppies are gonna roll. Firing up. modding this thing. Okay, three, two, one, go. One. Nah. Two. Dude, I can't get enough spin. Three. Matt didn't realize that I'm a professional YouTuber. I think it would be super cool if we put dualies on the front. That would give us a really crazy off-road look. We got extra tires, might as well. That looks crazy. Four. Five. Oh, Six. One. Seven. Eight. Nine. We're gonna need another zip tie to get this to really hold. Don't spoiler. Apple. Ten. 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 Come on, get your head in there. Yeah! How did... That was incredible. <laughs> I think we got dualies! Yes! Challenge is done. Got an apple. Next step is aerodynamics, which is going to be... A huge wing. Supposedly this thing will make it drive way faster. I think Bailey's is probably slower but more powerful. So I might win in the race, but I think his is probably gonna win on any off-road challenge. I'm driving this thing in second gear. And let's see how fast it can pick up. Look at this. Oh! That was sick! Look at Carter! Dude, I wonder if he can go on grass. Carter! Just try it off-road. 
This is so cool! Yo, I love this one! Challenge one is a classic. It's a race. This time, we're gonna be starting on this line. We're gonna race all the way around and end right on this line over here where that camera is. That's gonna be the finish line. Woo! You ready for this? Oh, yeah. I have a feeling mine's way faster. I mean, I do have beautiful chrome rims. Racer, start your engine! Okay. I'm starting. All right, Bailey, you can count me down. All right, in three, two, one, go! Oh. Ah! Oh, I had a bad start. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, going so oh, nice fast. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, I got to cut him off. Oh, I got to pass him. I can't believe you actually caught up. That was honestly so much fun. I had so such a fun. bad start. I went to give it gas and the thing bogged. And then I realized it was in reverse. I just shifted into first. To be honest, this so far is my favorite last hot riding challenge I've ever done. And the challenge is going to get even harder than this one. You ready? You want to go for round two race? I got it. Yeah, I think I need redemption, but let's run the course backwards. Best two out of three. Woo! Here we go. Race number two. This one is going to be our start line and our finish. We got the photo camera right there. That's going to see who wins. In case it's a photo finish like last time. Oh, dude, I'm so... No, that was... Honestly, I, I'm still shot Carter caught up. Anyways, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! Oh! I couldn't get you on any of the turns. You Bro, boxed me out. Give me a high five. That block was so <laughs> That was sick. It's best two out of three. One point for me and one point for Bailey. So this last one's a tiebreaker. Oh, uh, what again? We got to go one more to I tiebreak. I just said I'm not letting him close you in. <laughs> oh, that block on Carter was so good. All right, race number three. Challenge one is going to be a race to see which of these two ATVs is the fastest. Ryan Why? thinks this one is. What do you mean think? It, this, it's, it, it is fast. Well, it's literally 10 times the price, yeah. but I have a feeling that this little one, even though it's small, might actually be pretty fast, so let's find out. The rules for the race are simple. We're going to start here. We're going to go as fast as we can down the field, loop around the gator by touching the jump and working our way back to here as the finish line. Whoever can do it the fastest is obviously the fastest ATV and driver combo. Are you ready? I'm ready. Racers, start your engine. <laughs> Woo! Ready? Yeah, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right, let me drop it into gear. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go! Wait, oh, right, that was such a bad start. Oh my yeah. gosh, you're actually winning. Oh no. Yeah! Oh. 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 Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I gotta make it quick. You gotta turn, Ryan. Wait, you gotta turn. Oh my gosh, How I might actually win. win. I might actually win. Oh, this is oh. bad. Oh my gosh, Ryan is so bad. What happened? He had a bad start and a bad turn, and little ATV came no, out no, victorious. No, 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 no. All right, you know, Ryan, I will do a rematch, and now we know the rules. You know how to shift. Let's do it for real and see who can win, but I definitely get a point for that one. Here we go, round number two. I'm winning this round. I'm already in gear and ready to go. You count this one down. Okay. In three, two, one, go. What? Go. What? Oh, wait, ah. what? Ah. What? Ah. <laughs> Oh, I ran over my foot. We need a rematch. <laughs> rematch. I tried to get a pushing head start, and I guess I like tripped. I just saw you go down, and I thought you were trying to mess with me somehow. Oh, I got it. Oh, you have like, oh, you have like a tire remark on your leg. Oh, rematch. Rematch. Best two out of three. Yeah, yeah, we're tied. We're tied. We're one, tied. To one. One, one to one. One to one. Best two out of three. Challenge number two. We're doing a massive drop in Ooh. and hill climb. Wait, are you kidding, dude? I'm on a jet ski. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait till your challenge. Andrew, you can pick whatever you want. You and your two-wheel jet ski thinking bob I think you actually, you have to go first. It's your challenge. It's only fair. Bailey goes first. Go first. Here we go, guys. So the challenge that Bailey said is the steepest hill. You need to go down it and back up. Oh! Oh, come on, Tesla! Uh-oh, he's going to fail at his own challenge. Come on! 
up. He made it. But you gotta make it back up this. Back up the hill. This is gonna be the challenge. Back up. Let's go. Oh, no. Billy, no. He failed in his own challenge. No. Billy gets zero points for his own challenge. How does it make you feel, Andrew? I'm a little nervous, but it makes me feel better. No, I couldn't make it. All right, well, I'm up next. Let's get it started. Let's go. Oh my God, you're so deep. Oh. Climbing the second hill. Okay, now I gotta turn around. Now I gotta climb all the way up to where Bailey is. Here we go. Oh. 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 That was actually really scary. That just means you're up next, Andrew. Pretty nervous about this. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Guys, hit that subscribe button right now for Andrew because he's about to off road a hill climb with a jet ski. That's insane. It is insane. You're about to break a world record. Oh, he's got it. No way. You got so close. He almost did it. That was insane. Oh. Oh my gosh, okay? I think so. Oh, uh oh. Andrew's about to get out. Oh my gosh, he's literally jet skiing back down. What do I do now? There's only big one thing you can try to do is just to try to drive up the hill, I guess. Here he goes. Go, Andrew, faster, faster. No way. What? He actually completed the challenge and got a point. And Bailey gonna do it on four wheel cyber quad. Wow, I that can't. was actually sketchy. I cannot believe I made that. That was crazy. <laughs> Woo! Well, that just means one thing. It's your challenge now. Oh boy. All right, let's go. Hi for mini G. Let's go. Yes. Come on, baby. Oh. Yes. Even easier. Yes. All right, Carter, you might have done a little bit better than me on those last two challenges, but this next challenge, there's no way that little people win it. This next test is gonna get us straight into the road trip because we are going out to the street to see what is faster, the real Jeep or the mini Jeep. Woohoo! There's no way that little Jeep is gonna be able to keep up with the pace of this big Jeep. Andrew, you're up first for this test, you ready? I think so. All right, send it. Here we go, getting on the road. And he's off and going. 30 miles an hour. Carter's gonna hit that speed. I gotta say guys, I'm actually a little bit nervous about this test because this Jeep is really small. It does have blinkers and everything, but I think if anything, his Jeep is definitely faster. Only one way to find out. So far so good! Yeah! Oh, I think that might be a police officer. Oh no! here and wait for Carter. We made it pretty far. It'll probably take his little Jeep a little while to catch up. Holy stuff, you Jeez, all right, so Carter's taking forever. I mean, this is supposed to be a high-speed test. Where is he? He should be here by now. I need to outrun the cop. Yes! Oh! I'm making a run for it! Definitely don't try this at home. I think he's gone. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? My heart is racing right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna take a nap real quick. Yo, Andrew. Where are you, dude? I've been waiting forever. Uh, did you see that cop on the side of the road? Uh, Undercover cop, he turned his lights on, he chased me, I made a run for it, I turned off, and I'm in the middle of the woods, what should I do? Book it through the back way, back to our house. <sighs> okay, all right. I'll circle back and meet you there. All right, sounds good. Good luck. Oh my god. Mud test number one, mini jeep versus shredded mini jeep. Let's see if they go through it. Matt's up first with the regular mini jeep. Let's see if tires get stuck. Remember guys, these are only two wheel drive. So I have two treads and he's got two wheels driving. Oh, and he makes it through no problem at all. But do the treads, are they better than tires? I would hope so. I mean, I don't even know that there's mud. All right, this one's deep. Oh, it is deep. The treads are almost completely under. Oh, it's like a tank. Mud test number two is up here, and then we have the third test, which is crazy deep. I think they're both getting stuck in the third test, but let's try. Here we go, mud test number two. Bad on the regular tires first. Oh, it's a big splash. And the treads, no problem. 
the deep mud bog. There's a chance none of us make it out. Matt, you're up first with I'm the ready. tires. Let's go. We've never been through this. Even an ATV might get stuck. Here we go. Here goes nothing, guys. Let's hope the treads make it. Here we go. Three, two, one. I go nice and slow. Make it work for it. Oh! Oh, it's so easy. It's like idling. Oh, my God. Oh! 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 oh. 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 It's too easy. It was too easy. I could do it in reverse. Do it in reverse. Wait, you have a wheel off the ground here. Oh, it's like a jet. I think we're like sunk. Oh, we, yeah, it oh, we did. It flipped. Yeah. Yeah. Doing that? I was filming. I didn't even see it. Oh, there it is. We're good. Yeah. Fixed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's flipped. It's funny that the tread flips because that's actually the same problem that Prodigy TV has on his Hummer that we drove underwater. Sometimes they flip. All right. So we basically just have a fighter jet now. Right? Basically. Can we go airborne? Yeah. I think it's possible, isn't it? Tire number two. We're going to have two front dualies. We're going to thread this in. Here at the Team RAR Garage Customs, we like to do a lot of crazy, never before done things, like dualies on the front of a mini car. That's pretty cool and rare and ridiculous. That's like a monster truck now. Look at this thing. It's starting to look like a serious off-roader. It is so wide. All these double treads on the front are gonna be huge and the tank treads in the back for traction. It's gonna be pretty impressive what this thing can do, I think. I'm actually gonna not use the hot glue at all. I'm just gonna zip tie these to the front too and then cut them. Attention team, this is the official halfway point. Putting it out there, halfway point. At the very end of the challenge, we have a very special guest judge coming to vote and pick a winner. Remember, the winner gets $45,000 in cash. Yo, Matt, we live an hour and a half, we gotta hurry. All right, cool. here's my proposal, Matt. Can you go do the next challenge so I can yeah, keep yeah, yeah. Okay, can you go draw the next one? Please? Let's go. So you do it, I'm gonna keep sketching. Oh, I know, that's what I meant. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's see, let's see. Down the hole? We're gonna find out what down the hole means. Stay behind this line. Yep. Get a cornhole shot. That's it? Down the hole? Easy. Oh, not as easy as I thought. There you go. Woo! The biggest thing I'm missing, big exhaust. Well, if there's a way I can just get it to just stick on like that, that'd be amazing. And like somehow attach it like that. That, it looks stupid where I wanted it. No, I think mean, that looks like, What are you talking about? It looks like a missile. This one. is what happens you know, when you, do you it this way, it looks throw the car with a non-car guy. This mod is complete, but Andrew, we gotta get some more mods, so let's go do more challenges. Let's go. All right, you go first this time. Oh boy, okay. 100 curls? Oh, let's go, workout. Oh, work out. And I got, don't stop until it's popped. You gotta curl that 100 times. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, so sore. Keep going, I gotta blow up this balloon. Okay. Yeah. Keep going, Andrew! Oh, you gotta do this to get more mods. It's really scary. Oh. I'm getting tired. This balloon is getting huge. Oh. I'm so tired too. Jeez. What are you at? I think I was like uh 85? 85? <laughs> yeah. 85. Ah! 99, 100. Okay, good work. If you help me pump this, let me pull this side. Ooh, we could be mobile and we can go surprise Team Red when this thing pops. <laughs> it's working. Teamwork. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is for all the marbles to see who's gonna win the first challenge, which is the race. Uh, Bailey boxed me out, but I think I'm faster. I just gotta make the turn. Ah! Is it what's better? Treads and four tires or the big tires? Let us know in the comments down below. Who's gonna win, Team Blue or Team Red? I need this guy because he's definitely gonna beat me in the off-road challenge. All right, you ready? Count yeah. it down. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh!
no way. No, no, play that footage back. I think no I just way. beat Carter on the There's no race. way. I'm looking at the photo oh, camera. Look at him so mad. Let's go take a joyride. There's no way I lost. I gave it everything I got. Ah, it feels so good to be a winner. Woo! Dude, I gotta come over a corner. That Don't touch the ground. I'm not. Moment of truth. This is the photo camera. We're off and around, coming back for the finish. I won! Bailey won? Yo, by a hair of How? a second. Oh my god. Wow. That means I lost the first challenge. Bailey wins. Woo! We're moving to challenge number two. Hill climb? Oh, Carter, this is where my vehicle comes oh, in. Oh, no. watch this. To the hill climb! Yo, you're ripping. follow that one. I'm totally fine. I did not get hurt. We're going to do this again. Round number three. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. No. 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 Come on. Wait, I'm stuck. Oh. Oh, you want, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh. That's embarrassing. No, okay. I thought you had me. No, you didn't. Okay, well, it turns out, not surprisingly, that the big ATV is definitely faster than the small $800 ATV. $10,000 gets you more speed. On to the next challenge. Big whoop ride. Stop celebrating. <laughs> yeah, of course your big ATV is faster than my tiny cheap one. I'm going to win all of them. No, that's not true. That's where you're wrong. Not every challenge this one's going to win. And that's why we're moving on to challenge number two. All right, what is it? I get thirsty when I'm driving out and about. And the last thing I want to do is get off my ATV. So that inspires challenge number two, which is called the soda challenge. You have to ride your ATV, go into the house, grab soda without touching the floor. You can't hop off your ATV. You have to stay riding the whole time. That's easy. Okay. Hey, we're starting now? Yeah. All right. And three, two, one. Let's, let's go. go. Yes. Oh! oh, and I'm off to a good start. This challenge is going to be really interesting because it's not about speed, it's about agility. And that's where I think my ATV is going to come into play. I'm currently in first place. Where did this speed come from? There he goes. Oh, you cut me off. All right, so far so good. Uh, uh, where are you going, Ryan? I'm going to the fridge. What do you mean? You're where not going to fit that way. Get out of my way. Move that computer. Move it. Where are you Ryan. going? You're not going this way. I have to make it to that fridge right there. There has to be another way. Woo. Finally, so for challenge number three. Guys, Carter, Bailey, where'd you guys go? Andrew's getting ready for his challenge, but we are going to do a little bit of a detour. Might as well go to the Team Rara house, drive this inside and get a snack. No, I'm actually quite thirsty. Oh, thank you, my good sir. Try to pull right in. Yep, easy. This is so sweet. Yo, Carter! Bailey, what are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? I came here to get a snack. I got the snacks. Well, I'm thirsty. Give me a water. You go get a water. You got me pinned up right now. All right, Getting you out of here, man. See ya. Whatever. Here we go. Through the kitchen. All the way to the refrigerator. Still in the vehicle. Never touch the ground. Oh. Oh boy. I need a LaCroix. Give me a water. Come on. Okay, we're gonna do black raspberry. That seems fine to me. Put it in reverse. It's a little bit tight. I had to fold the mirrors in. Oh, hey, Grace. What are you doing in your house? Uh, I'm doing a last lid. I can't touch the ground, so I drove my little mini Jeep inside. Oh my goodness, this is so silly. I know. I barely fit. I might be stuck. All right, we gotta keep moving, Bailey. Well, we might as well do a challenge 2.0, which is a rip around the inside of the TMR house, huh? Let's go! Oh my gosh. 
I think it's time to go back out to do Andrew's challenge. Hey! <laughs> Andrew, we're coming! Let's get some snacks. Yeah. Well, you didn't give me anything? All right, whatever. So time for challenge three. So for my challenge, real easy. All you gotta do is drive across water. This How is that possible? That's waterproof. That's electric. That's the worst for water. Oh, that's too bad. So right over here, going from this jet ski, I have my other jet ski. You had a jet ski planned the whole time? Yep. That's not fair. You can't leave your vehicle. As long as I'm on a jet ski, it counts, right? I guess so. I didn't think about that. Right, hopefully you guys figure it out. Adios. I don't really know where I am right now, but there's no way I'm going back on the road with this thing because I'm sure the cop is out there looking for me. Is that the cop car? Definitely do not try this at home. I think it's coming after me. Am I getting pulled over right now? I made it out, guys. We are back at the Team Roar house. This is great. This is scary, guys. I've never been pulled over before. Oh, jeez. Here, quick, put, put the camera down. Don't, don't let the cops see. Son, do you know uh, why I pulled you over? Sir, no, I have no idea. I'm looking for a mini little Jeep. Have you seen one? Well, I mean, that wouldn't be me. This is a big Jeep. I'm looking for one a little bit smaller than this one. I think it's a tan color. Mm. You saw one or no? Uh, I can't say I've seen any Jeeps around here. No. Okay, okay. Yeah. I've yeah. got a job to do. All right, good luck, All officer. Right, good, good luck looking for that little Jeep. Oh, Andrew's calling me. Andrew, what's up? Cops are at the house. I repeat, the cops are at the house. You got to get away from the property. And they said they're specifically looking for a tan mini Jeep. What, what should I do? I'm at the house. Meet me down by the garages. I have a plan. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right. Andrew said to come around this side. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm literally running from the cops. Woo. Feels like I'm playing an actual game of Grand Theft Auto, and now I'm in the spray paint booth. So I don't know what to do now, Andrew. I play a lot of GTA. With you running from the cops, you're probably at about three stars. Three stars? Andrew, this isn't a video game. This is real life. There's cops out there looking for me. If you just spray paint a different color, how about blue? It might take your stars down. You go down to zero stars. It always works. Trust me, I've done it. Putting video game this to the test? Let's do it. Wow, not bad. I think it looks great. It looks sick. Oh. What happened? <gasps> the battery is literally melting, guys. This is not good. We gotta get that off. Oh, this mini jib is gonna blow. Carefully. I was gonna say, I was like, something doesn't smell right. We were just slowly chugging away on that battery. No way. That's. Acid. Yeah. That's the battery. Oh, shit. No, that's, that's the inside. No, that's the inside casing. I think we She's might bad. be okay, but that is bad, it's guys. Matt was literally like, yo, I think it's on fire. I don't even know why he said that. But then looked, and it turns out it almost was on fire. Oh, my gosh. The tank almost blew up before we went in the water. Last test, hill climb. This is all about power. Let's see if the treads actually have tank climbing abilities. We're getting into place. Oh. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, hill climb. Oh, you made it to it. Oh, man. Okay, well, I do think the treads are better in some ways, but the regular stock Jeep is also better. Tank treads are successful on to mod number two, which is to waterproof the engine so we can drive this thing completely underwater in the swimming pool. We're gonna need some adapters for the exhaust. Time to get cutting. You're probably wondering how we're gonna waterproof a gas-powered dirt bike engine with the transmission and gas tank. Well, it starts with... 190 degree and one tiny piece of plastic. Interesting, let's mm -hmm. see how that's so gonna work. So this just goes on like this. And then yeah, that yeah, is gonna be yeah. this, oh, it's so tall. <laughs> so basically, we're gonna be able to go as deep as this is tall, and this is the same thing that Prodigy TV had, guys. This is like just ridiculous. Okay, we get mods. Let's see. I feel like we gotta go flames. Ooh, I like that. Flames. I like the uh, the star. 
Let's white go star. mod. We need decorations, man. We gotta make it look nicer on the outside, too. I know, right, yeah. All right, so we're going for decorations. You keep working, I'll do it Spin the wheel! Here we go. Uh, yes. Pink wig, awesome. Is that it? Cute. Is that all? Let me see our letter. Oh my god. Oh, I am a... We need some decorations. We want these, and these, and I want all of these, and I want this. A little bit of orange and white spray chalk. These flames are going to give us a little bit of color and give it a little bit more of an aggressive off-road look. So satisfying. And flame. Wow. That is so nice. Yeah, I think right there. Yeah. Maybe like there, kind of a nice touch. I was going the hood, man. No, they're sick here. Okay, whatever. Yeah. What do you mean? They're look just, at they're literally. Dude, look, that. look at how sick that looks, though. All right. I mean, that just looks almost as good as I do. Andrew, Andrew. The plan is they're taking our stuff, and we're gonna go do a challenge and just pick as many mods as we want yeah. so we can win this. We're running out of time. Let's go. Right. Challenge is take a ball pitch shot. That's easy. Let's go. Come on. Okay, here we go. I guess this is the partner challenge. Andrew, give me a ball pit shower. No pressure. Here we go. Oh, oh first try! <laughs> yes, let's go get mods. So Ryan doesn't realize he's putting this on. He starts taking like, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Take the winch. Take the winch. Oh, that's heavy. Every off-roader needs a winch. Heavy duty. All right. Take the winch. One. That looks good. Perfect. Flame at a little bit of an angle right here. Last flame right here. We're gonna just strap this on right here. Oh. This thing is gonna shoot flames out of it, okay? That's how fast we're going. I think we're done. Oh what else do we have my. to do? We have time to spare. All right, I got you, Carter. Oh. Oh. Wait, are my tires gonna fit through there? Uh-oh. Barely might not fit. Oh. Yo, it's working! This is sick! You got an angel on either this. side. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Yo, hit that subscribe button. This video is just gonna get even crazier. Yo, what Oh are you no! Do? Look at my tire. Dude, they're zip tied on. It's not looking good. Reverse. Oh, you just lost a tire. Dude, I lost the tire. Now I only have three on the front. Are you serious? This is not going to be good for the next challenge. Oh, that was supposed to be my advantage. Challenge number two is the hill climb challenge right here on the steepest hill of the property. Bailey, this is one of your favorites, so I think you got to go first since you have, I guess, three tires on the front. You lost one over there. Dude, I'm so mad. The challenge right. is simple. You got to ride down the hill, turn around, and come back. Wait, I got to ride good. down? So these are the steepest hills. It's hard to film them on camera, but they are very steep. There's a lot of vehicles that can't climb them, and it's possible that one of these won't be able to make it. He's turning around, but the course is you have to go down the steepest tier, really tight junction right there. You have to go up and then across the crest, down a steep transition, come back all the way through back up. There's two major steep downward transitions and two steep upward transitions to complete the whole hill climb challenge. Bailey's about to drop in like a skateboarder. Yeah! This what is, this? What is the tow challenge. This is a really exciting one because we're going to be testing the power of our machines. Is the expensive ATV more powerful or is the cheap ATV more powerful? Okay, this is definitely going to work. This is definitely not going to work. There's no chance. Well, that's what you thought until I beat you in the last challenge. This is a full-size car with a full-size adult driving in there to operate it safely. Your goal is to drive the course, which is out of the garage door, looping around, and then back in the garage for time. Fastest wins. And the fastest wins. Well, I mean, so yours is more it? power, the faster you should be able to go. Yours won't even make it out of the garage. You don't think this will tow? No. Okay, let's do it, right? All right, let's ready? do it. You ready? All right, Ryan. The timer starts when the doom buggy hits the start, and the timer ends when the doom buggy hits the finish line. Okay, let's do it. Whenever you're ready, I'm three, ready. two, one, go. And he is off. And timer start. 24 seconds. 
Oh, he's going fast. Oh Woo! my gosh. That ATV's got so much power. It looks like the car is literally <laughs> driving. Come on, Matt! We got a straight away! It doesn't even look like it's struggling at all. Oh my gosh, and then back in the garage for time. And wait for it, wait for it, and time. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, absolutely crushed it. Oh my gosh, that crushed was Crushed it. That's impressive. It looked, it looked effortless. Oh, it was very easy. It was light, it was like a feather. Featherweight? Featherweight, crushed it, Carter. Right, well, you gotta... Crushed, what's my time? Just under 30 seconds. 29.36. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's actually good. I'm not even sure if my ATV can pull it. It's not going to pull it. It's not going to work. What it's it's like a toy. You're going to be down another round right here. <laughs> Look how small the ATV is compared to the car. It's, it's half the size. It's a third of the size. Oh boy. Well, let's find out. All right, guys. See how easy this is? All you got to do is drive on water just like this. Woo! Man! All right, I'm kind of nervous, but I got a plan Follow me. Wait, what? How does he have a plan? There's no way we're driving on water. Bailey, come back. I saw this path earlier. I think it can get in right here. You ready? One, two, three. Yo, that's not gonna drive on water. Man. I'm driving on water right now. Look. There's no way. Yo, Bailey, that was actually super dope. But I think you have to drive on water, not in water. Well, I was on water. I was on plane. You didn't see it? That was not on plane. Yes, it was. I want to see you go, Carter. Okay. Well, uh, I don't actually have that good of a plan. But uh, this thing is really good at driving on grass, and the USS Cartar Sherar has got grass on it, so there is a chance I could drive it on the barge, and then the barge can drive me on water. I don't know, let's try. So Bailey went too deep driving in the water, not on the water, so he's completely stranded. How is it to be stranded? I don't want to talk about it. But the pressure is on for me because I got to drive this off-road machine onto the USS Cartar Sherar. Oh, it's a pretty big drop. This is actually really scary, guys. Wish me luck. Oh! No way. Oh, I'm barging. I'm actually onto the barge. I would say step one is complete. I've made it onto the water. I am floating, but I'm not technically driving. I do have to fire up the engines and see if I can get this thing on plane in order to complete. I, I think there's room for me on there. You're gonna sink to Davy Jones' locker. Oh, let me get on the front. No way. Got it. You got it working. Let me on. No. Yeah. All right, so I'm out. This thing's got the weight of body. Let me get it. Started. I'm coming. I will manage it. You literally got out just to come for a ride. I have to. This is so cool. All right, we'll hop aboard. This thing has got way too much weight. Yo, ow, careful. I can't believe this is actually going to work. I know. Hey, I'm, don't speak so soon. I mean, I am out of the challenge, but we're going to see if this can ride. Oh. I can't believe this is actually working! And now it's time for the grand reveal. <laughs> yeah, look at this thing. It looks awesome. Where are we going? Come on, we gotta test out the GTA myth. Dude, you know how much I weigh? I'm almost like 200 pounds. Don't underestimate Mini Jeep. Let's okay. go. This is it guys, we are testing a video game myth and that is if you paint your car, you will lose all of your wanted stars. We originally had three, let's see if we're back to zero. Here we go! Team Rar just launched brand new shirts, guys. These are amazing. The one I'm wearing right here is the green, and Andrew has got the blue and all. We also have them in pink and orange. Go to teamrar.com at the end of this video and go get one for yourself before they sell out. Hear that? I don't know. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, the intake fell off. What? That's not good. The mini Jeep is quite literally falling apart. We've probably drove about 20 miles since the start of the today's video. The goal is 100 miles, but we're also nowhere near the beach. <laughs> this is not looking good. I think we're about to make a pit stop. I know who to call. I swear, Carter. Hello? Hey, Liz. Hey, Carter. We're trying to go all the way to the beach. The cops are following us, but we're gonna have to see if we can get it started. If we can, we're probably gonna come to your house for a pit stop. Wait, what? Okay, great, I'll see you soon, bye. Here we go, water test one. Let's submerge this thing underwater. The goal for this first test is to see if this dirt bike engine is gonna work completely underwater. If our waterproofing works, it should be good. If it doesn't, it might be the last time this engine runs. Your hope it works. It's not really running too well with all of this on it. I don't want to stall it underwater, that's going to be a problem. I got to get it on, I'm going to do one lap. Ah, <laughs> 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 I just want to try it. It doesn't want to get wet. Here we go, yeah. Oh my oh, god, no. if we 
stall underwater, it might, that might be the end of it. Look, there's bubbles coming out. Oh no. Bubbles coming out means water is going in. We didn't seal something. What did you put on Ryan's car? Would it look good right there? I like it. It looks good. <laughs> Tilt that. Carter. You put a Hot Wheels flame on my car. It's always like that. No, was it? We're going to put this racing vent right there. Stick it on. Ooh, that looks good. Let's go to the other side. Boom. Look at that. Looks great. There's only five minutes left. Everybody hurry. Oh, oh. God. The humanity. If we can mount these off-road lights right here, this is going to be awesome and give us a ton of visibility at night if we're like driving in the woods. And mounted. <laughs> yes. That looks so cool. Yeah. Love that. Perfect. <laughs> These fit literally perfect, edge to edge. Like they're meant to be there. That's so sick! Oh, yeah. Yes! That looks pretty good. One minute left! Andrew, we gotta hurry. We're not done yet. Right, we last, gotta get last, these last, on, last. we have only one minute. Are you guys done? We've been done for a while, come on. You've been done? Okay, well, we're almost done, but we gotta get these on, otherwise it's not an off-roader. Every off-roader needs a spare tire on the back and definitely a spare gas tank. Move, Andrew, go, we gotta hurry. We gotta bolt this one right here. So close, there's three bolts left, there's three bolts. 20 seconds left, guys, 20. 20 seconds. Oh, 19, 18, Andrew, hurry. 17, I got one more bolt. 16, come on. 13, you're not gonna finish. 12, yes I am. 11, I got 10. This. You won, you done? I'm Eight. done, you got it. Six, what? five, Let me help. four, three, Ah! Zero! Off the Off the it's good. It's good. We're done. I think I got it. It's a, little, it's a little loose, but it'll hold. It'll hold. Turn and go, turn and go. All right, three, two, one. Oh, it's so steep right there. It's like a cliff. Uh, ah, ah, let's go. I made it. Now we got to go up the big hill. It's a little less steep there than earlier, but that's fine. He's first. All right, ready? In three, two, one, go. Oh, man. Uh oh, he's not going to make it. He's wobbling. Ah, oh, you made it? I cleared it! <laughs> you made that look easy. Let's go! Yo, you made that look easy. Dude, even with three tires, I did that easy. <laughs> You're up next! I don't know if my chromey fast boy is gonna be able to hold up to off-road. These are street tires. Carter's up, let's see what he's got. I don't think he can do this, y'all. Look at those tires, way too big for this hill. I'm a little worried about this. I mean, you should be. Are you going up against someone like me? Come on now, come on. Look at these. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, one. All right, let's see if he's got it. Oh my God. Oh, you're approaching the hill. Oh my God. Oh wait, is he stuck? Oh, uh-oh. That didn't sound good. Yo, <laughs> I think he hit the plastic around the bottom of the Jeep. Uh-oh. Oh, this is so steep. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I don't think I've ever ridden down that. All right, y'all, this is the moment of truth. If Carter makes this, He'll end up passing a challenge. We don't want that. You don't got this, car. I mean, come on, Carter, you got this. No way. No way. Oh! Bro, you, oh. how'd you fly that? Did you hear those chunks? Yeah, dude, because you I bottomed out. I think I was about out. to rip my engine or my drivetrain out of this fast boy. <laughs> well, it looks like a, I'm still in the lead over here. All right, well, we each get a point for that one for completing. So now we got to go on to the off-road challenge. Oh, this is where, uh, 
I come in with the dreads! All right, Carter's got his butt kicked again. It's his turn. He's getting ready right now. Taking the slack out. I mean, Moment of truth, does this thing even pull the doom buggy? We're about to find out. Come on. All right, the timer starts when the doom buggy crosses. We're getting speed. Come on. Uh-oh. All right, timer starts now. Yes, I'm kind of moving. No, you're not. Look how fast I'm going. <laughs> he hasn't even rounded the first corner yet. Don't use any brake. Oh, they're speeding up. They're getting speed. Getting I'm speed. moving. I can't believe it's working. It's really impressive. No way. It's not a chance, right? Time. No. Don't don't make that face, Nick. I think I actually won. Nick, don't make that face. <laughs> don't make it was that so face. fast. No. So fast. Yes, no. little ATV crushed. No. 29.5 I that, can actually win. Is that faster win. or low? You were like uh, half a second fast. Yes! Oh, 29.36 and mine was 29.5. Ryan, the fact that we were only 0.2 seconds means that- You're a loser! No! Loser! Loser! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We just have to make it to the other side. It's right there. Carter, we can do this. Woo! Oh my gosh. Okay, it looks like they might have got their barge actually working. This is crazy. Let's go check it out. Woo! We're play, baby. We're on play. Oh my gosh. Let's go. We're on play, baby. Woo! Woo! We're driving on water. We gotta get to solid land. This was literally insane. But Andrew, did I pass your challenge? I guess so. You technically drove on water. Yeah, we drove on water. That was insane. But Bailey, I don't think you got a point. I drove at one point. Did Bailey drive on water? No, I think Bailey drove in the water, not on it. So I don't count that. All right, so that means I get a point. Uh, Bailey gets zero points. And Bailey is eliminated. But I think it's time for us to get off this water. Woo, we're so close. Long, they're short. We gotta see if it'll get started, Andrew. Uh -oh. <laughs> made it! Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Liz! Are you okay? Oh yeah. Gosh, are you hurt? I'm good. good. What happened to your hand? It's a long story, but we went out the road. I passed a cop. I got pulled over, but I didn't stop. I made a run for it, and I outran the cops. So I'm a fugitive. Then they pulled Andrew over, painted this so we'd camouflage, and we made it here, but then Carter, it broke down. And yeah, we're trying to make it to the beach, but it's not looking good. Carter, you can't make it to the beach. It's getting dark. I know. I'm afraid, honestly, at this point, that we're probably like almost out of gas, and this thing is not looking good. <laughs> it smells smoky in there. It doesn't smell right. I don't have a beach for you to off-road on, but why don't you just test it out in these big piles of dirt I have? Plus, you can do whatever you want because all of this is my land so no cops that sounds good let's ride this thing until it breaks <laughs> you ready liz i'm ready oh, right oh ah. this is crazy i feel like we're on planet mars oh. oh i don't know if we can make it is this thing four wheel drive no oh, oh it's so crazy. steep oh. oh there's no way all right here we go oh. So we are uh, officially sunk. I'm actually a little bit disappointed to see that it didn't work better on our first try. This is only our shallow water because I want to go completely 
head under the water with a scuba tank. And uh, we didn't get that deep. We can go up to this deep. And then we have the extension, which will get us all the way to that depth. And it failed already. I think every time we test it and it fails, we're gonna learn something new to improve. And it's gonna get better and better, but we're not gonna know until we pull it out and hopefully the engine didn't break. Matt's in the rescue squad with the CRV, which stands for Carter's Rare Vehicle. All right, we're tied. Come on. We're moving. Yes, we're getting pulled out. Oh, that's part of the problem. Okay. What do you think of our contraption, Phil? Uh, that's how it's supposed to work, right? Yeah. We're back in the garage because test one was a failure and we need to pass that test in order to go deeper and then to ultimately drive the swimming pool. Water got into the engine, which is the whole thing that will kill an engine and definitely not make it run, especially underwater. So we gotta figure out how it, the water got in. The snorkel is leaking. So that's much. So it's bad. full of water, dude. We might be getting leaks somewhere along the snorkel. Right there, we melted our exhaust. It was melting all here, too. Sometimes when you're trying to do the world's first thing and you're trying to develop and stuff, there's a lot of fails and not a lot of people show all the different fails to make something crazy. Yeah, we showed the fails and today is a huge fail. We thought, I, I thought I'd be eight feet under my swimming pool right now, driving around clear water with a scuba mask on, but uh, we're all muddy, broken in our garage, so. Let's see if it'll start now. Well, the engine's starting to run now, but the exhaust broke off and the snorkel doesn't work. And we're back to original unmodified Jeep. The builds are complete. It is now time for the judging and our celebrity guest is coming in right now with almost 10 million subscribers and a platinum artist on YouTube. We got the one and only, my brother, Steven. Steven, thank you for joining us. You're gonna be the judge and you're gonna be determining the winner of $25,000 in cash. You are a perfect celebrity judge in an awesome car collection, so I think you're the perfect judge to pick the winner. We're gonna start over here with Team Red. Card number one, Team Red. Go ahead for the final reveal. Yeah! Oh, oh that actually looks... You got underglow? Yeah. What? Oh, I love underglow. <laughs> and these rims look good. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it looks good, but you know, take a look. We got the candy paint with the rims. I like it. Custom exhaust. Wow, that looks good. Custom gonna... branding. Wow. <laughs> okay, Steve, remember, you're going to be picking the winner today of two custom cars. And the winner's going to get $25,000. You can pick any criteria that you think is important. <laughs> I mean, just look at Ryan's car over there. <laughs> okay. He needs an upgrade. Come on. I don't know. This looks pretty good. It's got the underglow going. It's got the rims. It's got the candy paint. It's got a two-tone hood. You like our, our custom vents here? Don't really the like vents? those. Those oh, look uh, like they were just uh, yeah, those stuck on. <laughs> we could take those off. You want them off? Okay. We could take them off. <laughs> Let's move on to the better team, Team Blue. We worked really hard on this, and I think it's definitely worth a win. Here we go. And you ready? Yeah. Oh, let's go. It's on camera. Pull the cover up. Pull the cover up. Here we go. You ready, Steve? Ready. This car is really cool. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow! It's all backwards. What is that? It's all backwards. Hang on. Look, over there, bird. Huh? Steven, look, we got dualies in the front for flotation, and you didn't even notice what we have running in the back. Wow, they look like they are glued together. They're not glued. Something. You got the treads in the back, I like Functional that. tank treads for deep off-roading. Okay. You got an extra tank. tank. Extra can of gas, extra tire, in case we pop one of the four in the front. This looks cool. I don't know how functional this would be. Oh, it, it's functional. It drives. Oh, you got a winch. That's yeah, you pull on that. Give that a good... Oh, nice. Zip tied on. That looks good. Yeah, this one definitely works the imagination a little more than the other one. This is it. We worked all day for this moment. Suitcase full of 25000 in cash. Steve, go ahead and hold that. You're going to be giving that to the winning team. And you get to vote between Team Red and Team Blue. So go ahead and step forward and announce the winner. I would have to go with Team Blue. Yeah! Yes, I can't believe it. $25,000. You guys thought you were going to win. Wow, I honestly can't believe it. That's this is not fair. Oh, hey. Suitcase. Wait, no, I got to go. I know you can't catch me. might have broke. Yeah, I think Carter oh. just broke his tire. Just like I did, but worse. Look at that. Oh, dude. That is not good. Oh, the cops are here. Cops are here. Carter, hop in with me. Yo, we got two, literally two cops rolling down the driveway right now. 
Yes, so you should hop in with me and let's get out of here. Police canine. Carter. Let me look from your side. What's going on? Look. Look at that. Did it break? Why is it like that? This is not well, good. While Carter's broken down, look at this. Literally cops. Uh-oh. Is modding and driving mini jeeps illegal or something? Are we getting arrested? Dude, I think you're about to get arrested. Oh, dude, look at the Both dip. cop cars. Two cops? Carter, what did you do? Dude, there's more cops coming. Carter! There's literally a whole entourage of cops right now. Bro, what are you Bro. doing, Carter? Oh, no. You might need to hit that jet ski challenge when you're solo. Yeah, I know, Carter. Just hop in with me for now. Mine's broken, but we have to continue testing these Jeeps. All right, well, you know what that means, Carter. Classic. Oh this is the jet ski challenge. Start it up. The run, this is simple. We got to enter the lake at this point, drive in the water, and go as deep as you can, and come out over at that lamp. Right. But you have to have all tires in the water. All right, Carter. You ready? I guess. You know what's so funny about this? Usually you're the one driving and I'm passenger. And there's fish. Look at that. There's literally fish in the water. Well, they better watch out. Beep, beep. Oh, we're going to run over some fish. Oh. They're not moving. Oh, you getting this? Yes. Look at the treads. Oh, oh I think we're going to flip. No, we're good. Oh. The treads are in the water. We are a fish oh, in the water. Oh, my God. All right, keep going. I'm trying. Go left, go left. I'm trying. All right, go out, go out, go I'm, out, go I'm out. Dying. Go first, first gear. Oh, oh Carter! Stop, 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 stop. Reverse. Okay, we gotta go reverse. I'm gonna have to hop onto the front. Yo, I think you just killed your mini Jeep. Wait. All right, go to the lamppost. Keep it going straight to the lamppost. Yes. Okay, go right, go right. Get out. Get out. <laughs> I can't, it doesn't crawl like that. I literally jumped off, so I already lost. Bailey, you gotta get out of the water. Carter, I'm trying! The cops are literally at the house waiting for us, guys. They're all parked. Oh no, your tread just broke off. No. Yeah. It's smoking. It's smoking. We gotta get, we Dude. gotta just pull it out. Here we are. This is the last and final challenge Woo. called the off-road mud challenge. We're heading deep into the woods. Go that way. We're going this way? Yeah, take a right. All right. We're going deep into the backyard of the Team Rar house, and we're gonna be going to the muddiest, craziest trail. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. That just broke. This just came off and broke. I cannot believe it. I lost all the guys back there. Are you okay? ATVs are all about their off-road capability, so for this last challenge, we're gonna be doing the off-road mud bog challenge between the most expensive and cheapest ATV that I have. Oh, it's getting muddy right here, but it's gonna get a lot worse where we're going. Oh gosh, I'm getting splattered with mud. We haven't even started the mud challenge yet. Oh my gosh, it's getting muddier. Not a problem, baby! Yeah! All right, Mr. $10,000 big boy chrome rim ATV. Let's do it, all right. Let's see how big your street tires do in the mud. At least I have mud tires, so. This course is simple, just go down the trail and it's gonna get muddier as you go and there's a bounty hole at the end. If you can make it through, you complete this challenge. Let's go. All right, let's rock and roll. I'm it's starting first, to get Mark. muddy. Yeah, see ya! All right, where are you? Okay, Ryan's going first. Let's see how well this works with his chrome rims. Oh, too easy. Woohoo! Off road and so far so good. And here's the bounty hole. Oh! Woo! Oh, he definitely spun out, but he actually made it. No way! Oh boy, I'm a little bit nervous with my socks and Crocs on. I'm gonna have to get some speed. You think you're making it through that? No way! Mud bounty hole. Here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Oh boy, I'm worried. Come on! Oh! Oh! Come on! Oh! I'm shocked. Oh. I'm shocked you made it through. I'm there. shocked. Best two out of three. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh. oh, I can't believe I did it. This thing is a mud bogger. Here we go. Mud bog. Whoa. Oh. oh my gosh. Nick got covered in mud. We are smoking. My socks are muddy. I'm covered in mud, look at me. I bet you can't go through it one more time. Woo, this little ATV is amazing, guys. I think this cheap one's awesome, but Ryan's expensive oh! one is awesome too. <laughs> Comment down below what you guys would rather have. Ryan's expensive ATV with the chrome rims or this small, cheap one. 